I was always talking about the Samskriti, especially Rakam school Samskriti. And then uh, we didn't look at the others. We were just trying to be with the children, trying to understand their problems. And we understood that we have to give them bicycles to save the diesel cost of buses. And cycles give them an energy, makes them feel something comes to their own hands. So we decided six standard, seven standard, eight standard, nine and ten standard students should be good bicycles. And we gave them bicycles starting from February, March, and now when the school reopened, bicycles were moving very beautifully. Takum School was giving free bicycles to the students surrounding eight villages and 12 villages of vehicles to run. And today morning, <laughs> I saw the Deccan Herald newspaper. Our Karnataka Chief Minister, Basuraj Bhumi sir, has said that if government school students want bicycles, He's ready to give for eight standards. So you see, our culture is much ahead. If we are very close and we are loving our culture, see, we can see it is others follow, follow us. Mahatma Gandhi said, provoke till they respond. And that is the strength of the civil disobedience movement. Here it was not a provocation, I think. It was just a way of life for us, understanding the pain and the suffering and to cut down the cost. And when we did it, you look, this government itself is following Kitaro Nishita, born on 19th May 1817, Kanas. Died on 7th June 1945 in Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan, was a Japanese moral philosopher, religious scholar. He was the founder of what has been called the Kyoto School of Philosophy. Kitaro Nishita said the Europeans are inclined to regard their own present culture as the only highly developed one and the best. They tend to believe that other peoples, if they are to make progress in their developments, must become just like themselves. I regard this as a petty concept. The primordial form of historical culture is, in my view, richer. And that richer is what I was trying to connect when Rakum School was deeply in love with the work they are doing. We have never attended a single seminar to find out the causes and development of the children. We just sat next to the children and then washed them. And when we washed them, we felt that they are innocent. When we washed them, we could feel that there is a truth, there is a natural power in them and in that natural power lies a thing which we are always searching throughout our life the europeans are searching the whole world is searching and that truth was that god they were god yes children of god we could see the godly feeling in them and then we just moved yes we didn't look into the budget into the money the Europeans are inclined to regard their own present culture as the only highly developed one and the best. Yes, it is the truth. Kitaro Nishida sa. It is the truth. The Europeans are inclined to regard. Yes, they regarded this as the best culture. You can see the culture is always tip top trust. Yes, the land is uh, pedicured and manicured. The roads are beautiful. They brought the industrial revolution. What more you wanted with all the lights which attracted all the flies to the cities and destroyed all the villages. Yes. Money flowed in, but war, internal war, houses were broken even if the bigger war was not there. Weapons increased in multiple fold. Man were frightened of man before man were frightened of all the animals. Animals were all locked up in the zoo and now man was frightened of man and the leaders became another man, a super supreme man who they call it as Europeans and they wanted the other men to be put in the zoo like how they put the animals. And then, yes, the Europeans were looking so cute in their dress code and culture, and they were mocking at all other cultures without giving them a helping and looting and robbing the other cultures day in and day out, blackmailing. And everybody in the world thought it is not possible. The sun never sets under the British Empire, crashed into pieces in front of an ordinary man. Thin skeletal man with an Indian dhoti called Mahatma Gandhi with no weapons. The whole British had the weapons 
the best weapon in the whole world and they had colonies around the world where the sun never sets in the British Empire. And this man walked without weapons and they crashed. And still they believed it is possible by the hoodwinking the other cultures, the European culture, yes. They tend to believe that other peoples, if they are to make progress in their development, must become just like themselves. With no family tradition, without joint family, a drinking culture. Person doesn't know who is staying next to her. They live like slaves, like in a pigeonhole apartments, dying, suicidal, suicidal dying. And even I believed that European culture was one of the best. They look very beautiful. The roads are so clean. And in that cleanliness, which disease can come? And they had all the diseases possible in the world. Year after year, they're pumping money in huge lot. And their people are dying with heart diseases. The world's most diseases people die was in those countries. I regard this as petty conceit. Kitara Nishida said, I was thinking Kitara Nishida son was telling a lie. And, and then now I understood you. Nishida san said, as yes, a petty conceit. Yes, petty, petty conceit. Yes. With all the weapons in the world, without any weapons. A biological weapon in the form of Corona came. No weapons could even kill them, see them. Such was a power when you destroy your culture and you create an industrial revolution to mock and drag people into the, into the cities and use them and throw them into the dustbin. And then when the wives and children and the parents are crying in the villages, you enjoy it. Corona came, they could do nothing. They died in lakhs. In millions, without a single bomb being fired, the primordial form of history culture is, in my view, richer. Primordial culture, in my view, is richer. It's, it's not about the richer. It is the way how you have been practicing your samskriti in a joint family, not in a nucleus family. Suppose you are in a nucleus family. Please make sure to go to your joint family. Yes, you have to only listen. You do not have to open your mouth. Please do not open your mouth. The moment you open your mouth, you are in trouble. Observation is very, very important. You are able to see, but you never observe. When you go to the joint family, just observe and try to find out what you can do. The primordial form of history culture is, in my view, richer. Yes, it was richer because from the childhood, the son follows the father, the daughter follows the mother. And you, from the childhood, it has got get imprinted every cell of the, the brain. And when the time comes, it strikes without thinking and it flows without thinking. Art flows. The speed of the art, can you believe? When the rain comes, thunder and lightning is not a problem. The children run into the lake and they die. We get caught in the whirlpool. Nothing happens. They were the sons and daughters of the nature. The moment you got disconnected from the nature of the son and the daughter and you became the son and daughter of the materialistic world, then where the problems came, you still can go back. At least once a month, once in two months, keep in touch. But make sure every day without a fail to understand the richness and to become the richest man in the world, the richest culture in the world. Make a call every day without fail to your family tree, to the joint family. And do not forget to make a call to your wife. For a husband. If the husband has gone to the office, my wife should call morning, afternoon, and evening. And husband also should call back. Children should call the parents. Keep in touch. And that is our culture. Nobody else in the whole world can destroy that culture. And in that culture lies the most powerful weapon which can stop even Corona. And you think I'm joking. No, no, no. When Corona hit, we were in Indira Nagar. We just moved to this land here and we walked in the sunlight. Nothing we did. Morning 60, evening 6. Nobody was affected. We played in the rainwater. We splashed the cow dung and the 
cow urine. We washed the cows and played with the birds. That culture was powerful. When the rainwater fell, we knew it was ozone. And ozone water was so powerful. No culture as powerful as our culture of the joint family.